Oh. Okay. Um, finger got stuck in the hole. That wasn't at the same time. That was. <laughs> I just wanted to be sure that everyone's aware that it wasn't at the same time. Quit micromanaging me. I know. And she's doing everything. What's going on? She, I'm making sure it's recording. I had to literally bring Libby her glasses while we were setting <laughs> this up. Because... Okay, today is what? Sunday? It's Sunday. I have been... Oh, Gary's on the TV for... Uh, <laughs> what? Not actually Gary, but a guy named Gary. And I was looking at Gary and I saw Gary out of my peripherals. Got Gary's real hype. fucking face, dude. This, Yeah, we have a Gary cam today. And what I mean by that is a little sliver. I honestly don't mind if we just keep it right here and just keep him in there. Well, I just want to make sure you're getting focused. Oh, and not Gary. Are we? Oh, God. The way that you just said that was really nice was like a <laughs> like a creepy artist that's like with a, with a new hot young model. And he's like, oh, that is really nice. You, you've got something special. You know that? You're different from all the other models I see. I have never come into contact with a specimen like you. I mean, you're, this is, this is going to rock the airwaves. Now, if you could just take off your blouse. So, yep. That white little blouse, mm -hmm. take that off. Then slip off your little s slip that's underneath your skirt. Mm -hmm. Yep, take that off. Yep, that'd be good. Oh, people don't wear slips anymore? What are you talking about? Oh, that's crazy. Well, That's crazy because... That's crazy because I'm wearing a slip right now. <laughs> and I'm Andy Warhol. <laughs> what? Not Andy Warhol, what's his name? Wait, Andy Warhol did make movies, right? He made a lot of movies, I think. Did he? I'm pretty sure. And I should know this because I got obsessed with this movie called Factory Girl in like the early 2000s. It was about Edie Sedgwick. Do you know who Edie Sedgwick is? That's going to be a no for me, dog. Gary Cam. <laughs> I don't know. Edie Sedgwick was like a socialite in the 60s. Gorgeous. Like one of the most beautiful women in the world. Um, so kind of like me? Yes. A lot. <laughs> very similar to you. Yeah. I mean, if you see a picture, if we put a picture of you and Edie Sedgwick right next to each other. Why are you looking back there? I'm just making sure there's not any information that would be compromised. Oh, I, that that's actually a really good idea. Because um, <laughs> you guys aren't going to believe this, but I had... You scared Gary. <laughs> I did. I he went... He was sleeping. I, I saw him shake. <laughs> and it was all a little... <laughs> he's so asleep. He's so fucking cute, dude. Because he's been partying all day. I take... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that's a sweet spot. I'm trying to let him, I was trying to let him get a few good ones in. It's like this, oh, it's so cute. And he was full asleep. Just as, I mean, you can tell because his eyes, he's like. He was fully asleep. Why does he try to hold his head up like he's not sleeping? <laughs> it's so, all dogs do that. It's so embarrassing. It's like, just go to sleep. No, it's like, literally, you don't have a job. No <laughs> one gives a fuck you're not asleep, that you're, you're awake right now. No one here is mad that you're asleep. Like, just do it. They're always trying to do it, dude. Bo does the same thing. <laughs> oh, I should have brought the other microphone. So it could be on Gary the whole time? Yeah. Honestly, and I posted this on my story the other day, but I'm assuming not everyone that listens to the podcast is on Instagram. So guess what? Fuck all y'all if you're like, I heard you say this on your story. Oh, wow. Um, no one's going to say that. I just, I was saying it because I'm an insecure person. Right. I, I just want you to know that. You're that's, lashing out. That's why I lashed out. God. It's because I'm insecure. Um. Been watching a lot of crazy shows the last few days, guys. Getting deep. What happened to us? 
we were supposed to be doing crafts and stuff, and neither one of us just had the ability. Here's what I've been doing. Taking care of six fucking dogs. Right. And and my, like, I mean, my skin, even showering every day has been difficult because I'm like, okay, I don't got to make sure everyone's okay. I don't <laughs> want anything crazy going on. So, but Kevin get a little too riled up and then there's barking. And even though everything's going to be fine, it scares me. So it's like, I don't like it. It's kind of like having a baby. You can't even take a shower. Or no, I go get potty. Exactly. I get why, you know. Yeah, we had big plans and, and you were busy with the dogs and I just... I like to relax, you know? I do my thing. I I do some work, but then I do relax a lot. Oh, God. I love relaxing. Truly one of my favorite things to do is relax. It's There's nothing better. And my legs are so soft right now because I'm really just taking time and not being on them a lot. And I can do my vibration machine, my pumping machine, take all my supplements. Yes, bitch. Fucking dry brush, put my feet up. Oh, that's what I'm fucking talking about. I, um. You get, you make me go out there for longer than 10 minutes. These feet are going to be, these legs are going to be stone cold Steve Austin. Stone cold Steve Austin, dude. You look out. That's a pro wrestler. (laughs) So. Speaking of, I just keep jumping from topic to topic. I love it. Hit me. But I had that uh, online, um consultation with that doctor right paid 120 dollars oh the consultation was 120 yeah cool and uh immediately tells me he can't do it because my bmi is too high it's like why did you charge me 120 to tell me that wait are you fucking kidding me no so i told the um the receptionist you know who organized all this she's like well he doesn't know about the payments i can refund the money and i was like you know what the doctor already talked to me for 20 minutes and gave me his time so i just went ahead and paid him but like don't charge people to tell them that they're too fat. 100%. And is that even, is that a thing? I mean, the higher, it's all based on BMI, which is... Kind of a very faulty, weird fucking... Right. It's not, I don't... I mean, there could be people that have a BMI like me, which mine is pretty high in the in the 50s, I think, that may be extremely healthy. You just don't know. I mean... You can't really when we got off say tour, that somebody's going to pass away because they have. I guess statistically, maybe more people pass away if they're larger. But then, don't tell me in the same sentence to get weight loss surgery because I still have a BMI when I get the fucking weight loss surgery. Yep, and you're not. You're going to be sick. You people, I am telling you this as uh, like I have tried everything under the sun when I, you know, was fucking obsessed with all the dieting stuff, whatever, and everything. And it's like, I mean, dude, fucking anybody that I have seen, and I'm not trying to fucking hate on anyone. If you got gastric and it's amazing and it changed your life, that's great. I think everybody gets way too riled up about shit and, and just is like, you shouldn't do that. Cause blah, 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 Libby, you shouldn't have surgery or you need this. It's like, you know, uh, you're fucking like, well, I can't remember what I was talking about. I got really, I got. About ga- it's just anybody who oh. I've seen that has gastric, gastric, and I'd say four out of every five people, their hair is falling out. They're, they always feel sick. They're throwing up mm-hmm. because they can't possibly get all the nutrients and all the food into a small hole. Because- no, and I, th- I'm pretty sure that you do not absorb nutrients the same after gastric bypass. I don't think so. I think that either way he's fucking stupid. Fuck that shit. But you know, I don't blame him. It's, it's regulations. So yeah, he, uh, he does surgery in Mexico, but he also is a surgeon in Germany, which is like one of the leading countries of lipidemia surgeries. And he, and I go, well, what about Germany? And he goes, no, they won't do it here. It's regulation but oh yeah they'll they'll take a fat person and put them on a slab and and be like yeah we don't care what your bmi is let's cut your stomach out insane it i it I, maybe i just don't understand the logic like they're willing to let fat people die to make their bodies smaller but not able to help help them with a no, it doesn't. It's weird. It's weird to me. It's it doesn't. It literally doesn't make any sense to me. And it also doesn't make sense to me how, like, the regulations on somebody getting 
liposuction for a lymphatic system disorder disease. I don't know what the actual term is or if there's a difference between disorder or disease, but guess what? I've been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and I've been diagnosed (laughs) with depression disease. So fuck y'all. Okay. (laughs) And the bipolar was faulty. We've talked about that. It was a weird year. A lot of cocaine things went nuts. That was a weird year. It wasn't correct. It wasn't correct. I've been watching way too much Jim Robinson. (laughs) Everything I just did. always yelling. It wasn't right. (laughs) What did they do to us? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? I'm taking the chin off. <laughs> I'm taking the chin off. Did you post that video of me laughing so hard? No, but what I will do is post it uh, tonight. or when After we do this, I'll post it. And yeah, so everyone can see because that was one of the funniest things in the world. But what I was saying is uh, that like the weight loss stuff or whatever... Okay, I don't remember what I was doing. <laughs> well, regardless, I'm going back I'm to- I'm like Gary. I'm, I'm trying I'm like trying to pretend I remember where we were before. <laughs> and Gary's he's, full he's on asleep l- again. He's looking at me going, <laughs> I love when people start to fall asleep and they do the little, <laughs> when you do a little kind of head nod. Ooh, I love that. This, the hard jerk? I don't know. I just, uh, I don't get the gastric bypass stuff. I've also read a ton of studies, and I know that this can be like a crazy hot take for some people, but what I've seen is that the semaglutide, like the same stuff, the Ozempic stuff, mm-hmm. they're trying to do like make that the new wave or whatever of like weight loss, which is mm-hmm. a much healthier approach because- it doesn't require surgery. It doesn't require you doing something to your body and changing something. I mean, dude, I don't even know how parts of my body work, dude. I didn't even know what my lymphatic system was before you told me Whoa. that. Neither did I. I didn't know what it was before I started reading about it. No idea. Had no fucking idea. I'm like, I'm not letting someone fucking operate on me and take a part of my stomach out. Like, Jesus Christ. That's just scary. And lots of people statistically are going to gain the weight after five years. So they do all that, still have a small, tiny stomach. I don't, I just, personally, I don't think it's worth it. Like, I mean, obviously I've never done gastric. I'm not in a position where I would need gastric. But like, I mean, I did, uh... When we got off tour, I was at my heaviest I've ever been. My highest BMI, I think it was like 38 or something like that. And, you know, whatever. I just, here's where I got to. I don't feel good. I'm going to try to do some things to change myself and like drink more water, take care of my skin, feel better, eat better, you know, and it's like. Not drink two large, very sugary beverages from McDonald's? I have sugar in my fucking cup right now, so. <laughs> Defi- honestly, do you know what's crazy? I've been eating more sugar and more fun stuff since I've been home from fucking tour. And I've lost, like, I just already feel better, losing weight, feeling good, like, and I've eaten more nachos, more candy, more (laughs) ice cream in the last month and a half than I did the whole time we were on tour. Well, tour tour just makes you feel like shit. I think that's definitely what it was, too. No matter what's going on, you, you just feel like shit constantly. Oh, God. And I mean, I was starting to go, like, low like i mean bet you would see and me you're before in shows i'd be so fucking mad trying to put my shoes on everyone's like what's wrong i'm like i'm fucking fat i can't get these fucking shoes on everything's fucking hot I'm like literally tim, tim. robin yeah get these get this fucking suit off me it's too hot it's too fucking hot that's how i felt <laughs> before Every, the last, like, month and a half physically of tour, that is how I felt. I felt like I was being suffocated, Mm -hmm. you know, just, like, by, by, like, my, I was, like, getting weird headaches, not, just, not doing the good stuff. But either way, um. Probably all that coke you was doing. (laughs) 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 Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, we got duels over Did here. coke one time on tour. Everyone says I'm a cokehead. And yeah, maybe I am. No, I'm not, but. This is our new song to sing to. This is fucking sick, bro. Oh, yeah. I can fucking feel it right now. <laughs> Take 
me to the underground city. Take me to. <laughs> I just sing all of Guns N' Roses, and instead of Paradise City, I say Underground City. <laughs> Take me down to the underground city. Underground oh. city. Oh man, this is fucking cool, dude. Have you listened to it all the way through? Nope. Awesome. I just heard that it was so rocking. I'm like, add this. Not a lot of our variety in this song. Nope, nope. Just a lot of hard rocking. Can we get a key change? Oh, this is just a guy going. Bum, 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 ba, na, 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 na. Fall asleep at my friend's house. Eat their pizza, drink their beer. Fuck my friend's mom, have a good time. Head to a movie the next day. Barbie Oppenheimer in one day. How the fuck are you alive? I don't know. I love Fun Dip. I love Fun Dip. Yeah. Fun Dip. Fun Dip. Yeah. Fun Dip. Do you remember when you were a kid and you got your first Fun Dip? You type that little white nugget of a spoon. <laughs> dip it in the powder. Take a bite. Oh my god. Magical delight. Where am I? Whoa. Before Give it up a fun dip. Give it up a fun dip. Whoa! Give it up a fun dip. Give it up a fun dip. Give it up a fun dip. Oh yeah! Dude, I think there's a lot of cool stuff we do with this song. The thing with fun dip, though, you had to lick it the first time. Yeah, yeah, you can't just dunk it in. Well, I mean, any smart person would know that. Well, somebody who's stupid. Ooh. Somebody's using bar chords. I don't even know what I need. These words are. Oh my God, Gary almost fell off the pillow. He's like, where's my regular pillow? I gave him this one because it's cute. Oh, it started to kind of break down. Oh. Was just, that's okay. God damn it. You just let me know if you want me to play that song, bitch. and I'll play it. Yeah, what's the next song? Is, was that the Renaissance one? That's the one I did the voicemail song to. Yes, yes, yes. We are from Ireland, Ireland. Me your little breast, let me get the sniff. <laughs> <laughs> then the hat you're wearing is perfect too. <laughs> are you a king or are you a jester? Which one are you? King? I'm King Henry. I have beheaded two of my wives. Did <laughs> the person singing that fact just learn it on PBS an hour ago? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. She's a phony just like me. Why did you behead them? Why did you cut their heads off? I'm sure they didn't do nothing bad. I'm sure they were just being women. They fucking cheated on me. I was mad. I killed them. (laughs) Wow. Male toxicity. Male toxicity. Male toxicity. Yeah, yeah. Man, it was alive and well during this time, dude. Uh, uh, Did he really behead two of his wives? Two of his wives, bro. What'd they do to him? Literally, they were like suspected of cheating on him and he Which killed him. Which they probably did. He had six wives. No, they probably did it. They were probably so scared of him, they couldn't. I, I, I would like this to be on in the background, but just at a lower volume. I think that's kind of nice. <laughs> Wow. But yeah, I, I mean, I know I know he beheaded them for cheating on him. And the funniest thing is, it's like, bro, you're a king and you have six wives. <laughs> I think it was like King Henry VIII. He's the one that chopped them all. Did he have multiple wives at once? Yeah. So who's he going to talk about cheating? That's what I'm saying, bro. This motherfucker back then, he's like, but look, I have a jewel on my crown. <laughs> Aren't you amazed? One jewel per wife. <laughs> the ruby. <laughs> the ruby represents Rosa, my beautiful wife. <laughs> she is a little spicy. It's like, all right, man, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Shut up, Henry. <laughs> Could you imagine how fucking annoying he was? Oh. All of those fucking nerds. Are all you those- cheating on me? But I've been in the house for the last three years. I've never left. Who would I cheat with, Henry? Henry, I've been in here sewing this dress for six months. (laughs) What do you mean? (laughs) Henry, I was locked up and you told me to weave gold threads. Henry, please. The gold threads, please. I was just here to... I don't know. 
doing in this house? Why am I here? Am I in England? I don't know. And that's the story of King Henry, Henry, oh, King. Tell us the story again. Yeah. I just see some, they're all hopping off into a forest like in those woods right now with their weird drugs and you're like whoa where are those fucking fairy people going <laughs> and they have those like baggy pants on and those pointy toed shoes and they're like <laughs> just hopping away one of them's holding a pipe <laughs> like how do you have time for that there's the guy going like this with the little little flute Dude, I live for shit like that, though. That's what, I mean, how long has it been since you've been to a Renaissance Festival? Oh, over 10 years. I'd say 15 years. Don't want to go to one again because it's hot and there's a lot of people there. Well, yeah. I mean, there's no way around that. I ain't talking you out of that one. I was about to be like, well. And then I'm like, yeah. "Yeah." I mean, anything that I could see at a Renaissance Fair, I could look up on a YouTube video, look up nerds. It's not the same. I'd search nerds and Renaissance Fair and, and could see everything oh. I'd want to see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I need I need to go to a Renaissance <laughs> Festival this year. Well, I need to go to a Renaissance Festival this year and vlog it. Why would I not do that? I mean... I mean, that's where I'm thriving, is at a Renaissance Festival. If I go to a Renaissance Festival, though, and I see a guy dressed up in... In very period clothing, but is wearing a pair of, like, Nike shoes, it'll make me rage, and I'll want to leave. Will you talk to him about it, or what? No, I'll just leave. I'll turn around and go back right to then. my parking. Really? Yeah, because if you're going to do it, do it all the way, head to toe, bro. Uh, well, see, I disagree. I think you should have comfortable footwear to <laughs> cosplay. Well, you know what? You know? They didn't have comfortable foot ba- footwear back then, and they still dress like that every day on no. the real. They, yeah, no, they did not. But also, it's not like they're going to be like some guy finds out his wife's cheating on him and he fucking beheads her at the Renaissance Festival. And also, I need you to stink like they stunk. Yeah. Don't be wearing no cologne. Don't be wearing shower to shower powder. Oh yeah. You ever use shower to shower? No. What the fuck is that? Is shower to shower to prevent athlete's foot? I'm just going based on context clues. It, it was a a powder called shower to shower and usually in a baby blue bottle. Shower to shower. Now, what was the purpose of shower to shower? It was to just prevent athlete's foot or keep just... You, keep you fresh between each shower. Oh. From one shower to the next. See, I know that I'm just straight goblin trash because I just was thinking, I'm like, shower to shower when you are when you leave your buddy's house there, you got to use his stinky ass shower, a bunch of mildew in there. You head over to your pal's house, couch surf there, spend the night, <laughs> hop into their mildewy soap scum filled fucking shower. <laughs> and I thought this was shower to shower as in like a location shift, not right. between showers. Between, yeah. I, th- I, I think it could be either or i think so too but the way i interpreted it as a child and young adult was to, it would keep you fresh from your one shower to the next yeah and whether that be from your friend's showers or from yeah. your own shower but 12 hours apart 12 it has to be 12 hours apart we're not doing any 24 hour stuff okay <laughs> this stuff's not strong enough for 24 hours but we're up front about it okay and I'm sure it, it contained something that has given people cancer. That's probably why I can't find it. Because I did try to find it the other day. And I, the most important thing for me is, was the two, the letter two, or sorry, the number two or the word I two? I believe it was the word two. Bomber. But- missed opportunity, don't you think? Yeah, but. Think of the cool font. Shower. Two. Shower. Oh. I don't know. Do you have your phone that you can look it up? Yeah, my well, it's over there. I'm just letting it charge up for a minute. Can I do it on the iPad? Uh, I don't think that's hooked up to the internet. Oh. Well, I'm going to be honest. Seems like you're uh, fucking lying because I see the Wi-Fi things on here, but whatever. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. Why what would you... it be on? I've never brought this over here. There's four little nodules on there. Hey, toss it. Good job. Toast it on that little soft thing. I mean, just look at Gary. He is so happy being up here. This is right now, every dog in the house is actually very calm, very content. Me and Libby are on the table. We got Gary. Simba's over there patrolling. Where's Till? 
is Bowie is Bo, Bowie Bo's in the den. Bo's in the den. You know Tilly's. I see her fucking little ass right there. She's just laying on the couch. And where's Mill Mill? Mill Mill's probably in her bed. Oh, they're she's little, either tiny in bed. her bed or in her little tiny bed. She tries to fit in because she's precious. Dogs, dude. I'm fucking this doggy daycare I'm running here is fucking wild. Wouldn't have lasted two hours. That's why I didn't volunteer. Yeah, I knew better. Yeah, and that's good. Don't ask. I don't even want to watch one dog. I'll watch a cat because you don't have to deal with the cat. Yeah. If I have to watch Gary for more than four or five hours, I'm not doing it. Sorry. Too much. I smell a fucking dog fart right now, and I know it's a dog fart because I can tell your eyes do this thing when you fart. So I'm going to go ahead and think it was Simba. But who knows? Simba likes to let loose when he's relaxing. (laughs) They just escape out of his bottom. (laughs) That is it. It's every time he's chilling. Just lets it go. Oh, yeah. And it's going out like a slow, slow, you know, you tied up a balloon. Oh, it's bad. It's not good. I mean, we are smelling right now in real time a very foul fart. And it came straight out of his butthole. It passed his butthole and is in the air and it's going into our nose. Yeah. So essentially our noses have been on Simba's butthole. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've never heard... Have you ever heard Gary fart? Oh, no. He doesn't. Nope. I never (laughs) fart. Never farted in my life. No, I've never farted. (laughs) Don't like farting. It's disgusting. Yeah. Farting... People think farts are funny and they're not. Phew. Damn, Simba. That is a Simba fart. It is, for sure. Potent. But God, he's having a good old time just relaxing there, you know? he's dead asleep, bro. Dude, this place has been fucking nuts. I've fucking turned into Caesar Milan, but it's, you know... (laughs) Just fucking un- good old Uncle Tuna. I am proud of myself, though. I do feel like a pack leader. Well, that's good. I mean, I've never felt like a pack leader in my life. Maybe when I was on steering committee in that cult rehab before they kicked me <laughs> off. I felt like a pack leader then. I also did feel like a pack leader. I don't know. Whose crown is it? Not I don't, sure. I don't remember what bit that was for. I think it was something in the nut bus. Oh, Or the nut right. stand for Tammy Bangs. Do you have fake lashes on right now? Uh, yeah, just on the tips. Oh, God. It looks so it's fucking good. Right I almost here. couldn't notice. Like, that's that's how you know. Because I, I was like, that looks like it might just be mascara. Well, I'm getting better at, at putting them on. But uh, there's something with my left eye where it is a different shape. And no matter what way I put it on, it's always they always fl- flip up different than this side yes this like, side is optimal flippage perfect the, i put on this one and it's like eh, we're not gonna go quite go we're gonna go like this one's like huh and this one's like Dark. oh dude and it goes every fucking which way to the point that you're like should i just fucking cut that side off i've cut i cut this side because this one was so perfect and if i could just walk around like this all guys would want to fuck me i walk like this or like your lashes sure. messed up. They see that one side and they're like, uh, oh, bitch, get away. They're like, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. I um I don't know why it's so fucking hard to put eyelashes on. I used to be so good at it. And now you saw the la- I wasted a whole pair of your lashes. Yeah, she just started just tearing off new pairs and placing them on. Yeah, she wasn't too that happy. That was my about special, that. special pair i just bought off amazon yeah i have thought about those magnetic ones like those look fun you know what i'm talking about you put the eyeliner on and then allegedly it's just like i want to try the ones where you put them under because they look cool man it's like i wanted to get lash extensions for a while because it's like not anything cray cray hi meal meal nope there's simba following her Uh uh-oh i don't want a dog fight right here Millie looks very uncomfortable. She's like one of those ladies that, you know, a guy's just like being too much like, hey, baby, how you doing? And you just want to be safe and get away from him. So you're just like, ah, hi. That is exactly what Millie just did. Yeah. She literally just stayed cool as long as she could. Came over to me. I'm like, I need to be somewhere safe. (laughs) She's like, oh, God, get that guy posing as a straight guy away from me. (laughs) I love women. The fact that Simba's trying to pose as a straight guy around Millie yeah, is hilarious. Love, love women. Yeah. Oh, God, I love them. Just like me, I love women. I love having sex with women. I love looking at their uh, vaginas and their breasts. Yep. 
Yeah, my mom has a cute little pussy. Nothing turns me on than the scent of a woman's vagina. <laughs> Not the, oh, God, I love Mel Gibson. I mean, um, Margaret, Melanie, Margaret Thatcher. I love <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. Mm, God, God, I love it. Ugh. Gary, can you can you do me a favor and just turn this way so we can have you in the camera? With yeah. your little Yeah, if we could just have you, Gary, there's your marker right there. If you could, if you could right, just If you could look right here, Gary. Gary, we're using two fingers to kind of motion you over there. Yep, there you go. Right here where this pizza is, if you just look right here. <laughs> just uh stare at the pizza. There you go. Yeah, good job. Oh my god. Yeah, let us know if you like the Gary cam. <laughs> I mean, it just kind of was a fucking spur of the moment thing we all did together. We were just like, oh, maybe we should have Gary. But we're if, even if you don't like it, I'm not going to go back into YouTube, take the video off, edit Gary out, and then re-upload it. Yeah, I will say that's actually not going to happen. The only time that I'm ever going back in editing something is if, like, you share someone's phone number, like your friend Maggie Wilson Frank's uh, <laughs> phone number one time. And then, then you have to edit it out of her mukbang because she doesn't know how to do it. So, yep. Yep. Right. That's the only time I'm ever going back and editing everything. Other than that, I stand by everything I've ever said. Okay, I shouldn't say that because there's probably things I don't stand for. Hi. Who is it, Millie? Meal, meal. She's a big girl. Yep. Now, I will take care of Millie for oh quite a while. She's not high maintenance. No, nah, Millie's a great dog. In fact, she'll hold her pee and poop for seven days because, you know, I didn't see her poop one time while she was with me. For real? She just, she won't let me see her. Oh. So she, I'll go outside with her and I'll go potty and she'll go pee. Well, not poop. She'll go upstairs to poop. So if I, I had to just start letting her out and closing the door. She's fine. She's trustworthy. And I, she just doesn't want people to see her poop. No, she does do her business very far away. I've watched her multiple times. Simba, we don't need you sniffing that. Why does it, he literally just sniffed the, the tripod. He wanted to see if it went up somebody's butthole. I love sticking stuff up, guys, but Oh, God. I bet Simba and Gary go out at night to gay bars. Guarantee they do. I know both, they both have the personalities for it for sure. Yeah, we're just a couple of dudes hanging out. We never once made out and tongue kissed. We're not making out. We're just friends. Yeah, we're just friends. We're sucking each other. I mean, what? I'm not stroking him off. What are you saying, stroke? I don't never stroke off a fucking guy, dude. Kidding me? That would mean I was G-A-Y gay. Have I ever sucked a, another dog's dick through a, uh, what's it called? Uh, a glory hole? No. Don't even know what a glory hole is. Uh-oh. Simba just decided, I, right when I compliment them. Oh, look how good all the dogs are doing. <laughs> I'm fucking Caesar Milan. <laughs> and then Simba goes over and sniffs the shit out of uh, Kevin's ear. Could you imagine having sex with a guy like Caesar Milan, a world famous dog trainer, like someone who's constantly correcting people's behavior? I feel, well, I mean, dogs are not people, but it's like. Well, he kind of does correct the people's. It's not the dogs; it's the people. That's the problem. Yeah, I wonder if he if Caesar Milan doesn't like something that someone's doing, does dingling, that he'll be like, <laughs> tss, tss, tss. "Okay, Simba, that's enough water." Give you one of those little tss, under your neck. He loves drinking out of the smallest bowl over there. <laughs> oh, Gary, stop it! No, he likes power moves. That's what he's doing. What that dog is doing over there is a power move. I, he wants to drink that entire water to be like, yeah, that's my water, bitch. That's what he's doing. Bet he'll, I bet he'll go every every bit of the way. Every morsel of water in there? Morsel. Uh, calling something a morsel when it's a liquid is <laughs> fucking funny. He's going to take a step back and just be like. He's going to throw up. Can every- somebody give me a paper towel so I can get every. Yep, every drop of water is gone. Uh-huh. I just watched. Yeah, I told you he'd do it. He's fu- and now he's, and he's walk- like, what? He, he literally walked by Kevin and looked at him. And he goes, hey, Kevin, you freaking see me drink that whole bowl, bro? <laughs> you freaking see me drink that whole bowl? Hey, Kevin, what's up? You're a bitch. <laughs> just drank all your fucking water, bro. Yeah, bro, You now you got to go drink out of the big bowl, and you're too small. <laughs> I bet you never drank a whole bowl. 
Oh, God, it's just a fucking... I mean, I'm <laughs> learning more about dog psychology and everything this week than ever. Because I'm, like, seeing how everyone's interacting together. I'm getting I'm getting deep and personal with them. <laughs> we got this fucking dolt over here is chasing his tail. He's about to piss everyone off in the house. What? Gary, stop staring at me. <laughs> hey, Kevin, did you see me? Something was on my tail and I got it. Whoa, what's that thing behind me, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking, I hate him. I hate, I mean, I, I can't even believe that was on camera. I'm so mad. Simba's chasing his tail and just knocked over the tripod. Thank God my camera wasn't on there. Can you believe that dog is almost 12 years old? Can you believe that that dog just knocked over a tripod because he thought his tail was something else? And Ab- not part of his own body. Yep. Absolutely. I mean, this is this is what it's like. I've been I've been thinking a lot about my uh you know, my time as a dog mom, things I've learned, you know. Learned a lot. Hey, leave his ding dong alone. Oh, I mean, jigs just, just a Oh, and then Tilly. They start fighting Tilly goes from the couch. It's just like an old lady yelling like, hey! Yeah, that's literally what she is. <laughs> that's exactly what she is. We'll be doing whatever, and you'll just hear Tilly out of nowhere be like, Bruh. She's like, no horse play. She, oh, she's constantly just fucking yelling at us. We'll be in the other room. Like, the other day I was, like, in the bathroom, and I was doing something, and she's in there. Bruh. With their fucking bangs like this, dude. Yeah, G- GW, George Washington. What up, Gary? Why are you looking at me, baby? <laughs> um, I heard you guys saying some derogatory things about me on the podcast. I want you guys to delete that because I don't want anybody to think I'm gay because I'm not a gay man. I've never sucked off a guy. I've never jacked off a guy. I've never went to a truck stop just so a man could do anal with me. Cool, Gary. Um, I love that you're trying to keep up all these lies and charades. It's really fun, but we don't have time for it. Everyone knows who you are. What is that? I'm about to show you something. I forgot that I, uh, so I found this the other day and uh, it was right, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you rude mofo. What? I didn't know you were going to look at it. I just wanted to stand on it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He did literally look at me like this. He just goes, <laughs> his eyes got so big. <laughs> His eyes got so big, like, he was like, what the hell, Simba, leave it. Sometimes I just like laying on bricks. Go lay down. Simba, go lay down. This is my life. This is all I've been yelling. Is that us in that portrait? Yes, and it is one of the coolest things in the world. Oh, they did write who made it. Michelle Brady, 2022, age 25, 100. This the was... coloring contest? This was a coloring contest. Oh, look at Randy in the middle. Yep, an entry that... Um, Ray Varner. <laughs> that is the best part. That makes me so happy. I cannot wait to put that in Randy's home. I know, it's incredible. Where he has all the treasures. The Ray Varner shirts, <laughs> dude. We look so happy and cute. Yeah, I love it. This looks like, so I played this game. I've told you about this. The game on Newgrounds, that web gaming website. Yeah. Um, where they were like anime people and there was this hot girl and I'd have to make her come and stuff like that. <laughs> so, and I looked like, the girl looked like this. Her eyes looked like that when she would come to signify happiness. <laughs> so. Thank you for that, Michelle. Yeah, this is literally, it was so sweet that I was like, I brought it all the way from St. Louis to Nashville to show so that is really cool oh god it's just nice and i love how my hair looks a little messy a little zany what's going on it stopped recording and i don't know how long ago Uh uh-oh on the roadcaster yeah oh boy Uh uh-oh uh-oh i i think it might have been when gary stepped on it just now I think it might have been when Gary stepped on it. Just now, yeah. right? Yeah. I think it was. Did you show the picture? Yep, because he just stepped on it again. Yep. Gary. Oh, oh but he, he did on play a song. A song. Hell yeah, Gary. This is what Gary wants to get into. Stop City Painting by Michelle, age 25. 
Oh, hell. God, amazing. I think maybe when we just uh, talked uh, about uh, that whole uh, thing, uh, 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 there was no audio because Gary fucking stepped on it. Yep, I didn't want you guys to say any more stuff about me being gay. Guys, stop talking about me. Yeah, I'm sucking guys off. So what? We love guys here. Gary, we don't fuck, we don't care, baby. No one cares. Everyone loves that you're you're doing your thing. He, he acts like we're going to be, like, judge him if we find out he's gay, but we're actually not. No. No, it's like, yeah, I have two gay dogs. So? So I've never I've never seen Simba fuck a girl dog. I just haven't. Have you seen him fuck a guy dog? <laughs> Time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, it. Yeah, he looks... Bo's ding dong every day. Oh, see, he's got a toy in his mouth. Simba's walking on. Dude, just dogs are hilarious. The way they navigate the world and everything is just so funny. Because they can't talk, so they just bark and, like, do weird stuff to each other. And he's, what, you said he's 12? Yeah, he's almost 12. He turns 12 on Christmas. How many is... Years is that in human years? Ooh, let's look that up. I don't know. 12 times 7, right? 12 times 7. 12 times 7 is... 14. 12 84? 7 is... Yeah, you were right. Good job. I knew what it was. I was for real just kind of fun, just joshing. So imagine an 84-year-old year old man going to the toy <laughs> basket and grabbing a toy out and bringing it to his little other 84-year-old friend over there. How old's Bo? I think Bo's uh, 15. So let's do 15 times 7 is... Uh, 8.95. <laughs> One oh five! Holy shit! We're fucking stupid. I literally hey. don't even. Oh, I'm old and that's okay. I'm an elderly man. Bo, <laughs> I'm blind, deaf. An eighty-four-year-old man just brought his a hundred-five-year-old <laughs> friend a toy. What? What's the problem? We love playing with toys. What? We're gay. We love each other. We're elderly gays. Hey, I'm in this strange house. You got me. And I'm blind. Where's the... And I feel safe over here in this corner because I'm blind and I know nothing's coming up behind me. Well, if I'm in this corner, no one can touch me. <laughs> oh. Except Simba. He can lick my dick. Yeah, Simba can get over here and suck me. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> Simba wants... He either wants to lick his ding dong or lay with him. Um, probably lay, lick his ding dong. This Loves. is my life partner. Uh, he's older, but age don't matter when you ever when you're in love. <laughs> Just say he's older. <laughs> he's older. Oh, okay. So what about um? So I haven't met your husband yet. How old is he? Um, he's one hundred and five years old. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. And I'm a young spry eighty five. Though when you get our age, the age don't matter. Your dicks are going to be shriveled up anyway. Sure, sure, that sure. Don't stop me from licking his all the time, though. <laughs> Absolutely, that's some really fun stuff. Hey, come on, play with the squeaky toy with me. Come on, hold on. come here, old man. <laughs> he's like, no. If any other dog comes over here. Even though I've invited you to play, I'll tell you no. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of being called an old man. I'm misunderstood. I'm Whoa. misunderstood. He look, just, at, look at, what if an old man came up to you, though, and was like, hey, look at my toy. <laughs> You'd be like, whoa. I'd be like, Ugh, get away, sicko. <laughs> look at my little squeaky ball. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, get over here. I've got a bone marrow. <laughs> I'm about to nibble on it. Hey. <laughs> Look at my little thing. It's shaped like a little piece of pizza. It's a toy. <laughs> oh, oh, this. It's my Kong. <laughs> Do you have any peanut butter I can stuff into it and lick? <laughs> uh, you go to Central Park in New York City on a nice afternoon, and there's just an old guy in the no Simba. It is a little pizza toy. I love it. <laughs> oh, give me the little. Come on, give me the pizza toy. Let me suck on it. Go get it. Oh Lord, God, I'm running. Oh, I'm running. Tilly was just in there going. No running. This is, Tilly's literally the fucking grandma that like, 
just is always poo-poo and everything you want to do. You're like, Grandma, it's hot in here. She's like, well, then oh, take your clothes off. <laughs> Get out of here. Then turn the tub on and sit in it. It's like, what? Huh? But don't use two more than two inches of water. You use too much water, you're out of here. You don't pay the bills. Yeah, sounds like someone's having fun. Stop. <laughs> she fucking literally just, in middle of the night, doesn't matter. Just fucking let me know. Be- <laughs> Out of nowhere. Hey, can you hear my squeaky joy? And also, I've never met a dog that like, you've got to force her to poop. And well, I'm that's because she knows the shit gets stuck on her ass. I'm not talking about anything physical like that. But I'm saying like, she literally will... I will be like, she needs to poop. And then she just like starts to go in and I'm like, no, you got <laughs> shit on your ass outside. the other day. She doesn't want to be outside. All she wants to do is be inside next to the air conditioning. Yep. She's just wants to, she's like the fucking, just your fucking grandma that's just smoking cigs in the house. Just, <laughs> just, she's only chilling for her. She curls her hair once a year and everyone's like, Jesus Christ, that looks fucking terrible. I followed a lady on um, Instagram yesterday who does those old set, like sets on old ladies' hairs where they curl it and fucking spray it so much that it lasts a week. Wait, old ladies, like she styles their hair for yeah. them or something? You know how you, they don't, I don't think they really do it anymore in, in, regular salons but they'll curl it tease it and it'll just be like a helmet for a week i didn't even know that was a thing i would love to get that done to my hair it's called, just to try it. it's called setting get my hair set get my hair set get my i don't even think i have enough hair to get set oh you have plenty of hair but it would you never see somebody with long hair getting it set it's always a shorter hair. oh it is yeah d- d- why do you think that's how we'll get when we're older? Like, I, I was thinking, I hope I don't ever do that. Be like, well, let's get our wigs. I'm like, hell no, dude. I'm going to just be fucking straight up. Have no, no hair, nothing. Oh, great. He found another toy. So he's just in there helping himself to all of Millie's toys. Yeah, I love this one because it's got a little pumpkin on it. Oh, oh, you're not going to believe this. Get over here. <laughs> Kevin's hiding under my feet. I bet he is. Hi, Kevy. He's, I mean, my mom just texted me, how is Tennessee? Not too lonely there alone. She, whenever I tell my mom I'm going somewhere alone or whatever, she always is like, Simba, what are you doing down there? I'm playing with this toy underneath the table. (laughs) You don't need to be under the table. Oh, get out of here. Simba, get out. Go lay down. Literally, I say go lay down. Just pull it for me. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Pull the toy. Let me suck on it. Let me pull on it when you pull on it. <laughs> That's all he fucking... He's such a little dolt, dude. Dutch adult. Um, No, but what I was saying is uh, something about my mom. Anytime I tell her I'm doing something alone, she always freaks the fuck out. She's just always like, oh my God, you're doing this alone? And I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> She's like, you're driving four hours alone? I'm like, yeah, dude. Yeah, mom. I I love being alone. Me too. Love, love being alone. Like watching my stuff. And that's why I think that I can only have friends who know how to like respect those boundaries. Okay, Simba, it's like, you make me just nervous. go. Go lay down. What? I want somebody to pull my toy. He's like, what? Pull my toy. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to bring it over here. It's like, yeah, you did. You literally, oh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> what, Gary? Oh. Oh, my goodness. I mean, he fucking seriously is the cutest dog. I still look at him this whole time. I've been with him for fucking five days straight, and I still look at him, and I'm like, holy shit. He's licking the air. I can't even believe I know this little dog. Somebody just messed up the the bed. Yeah, Simba fucked up the den bed, so. I actually think we're going in an hour. I'm not totally sure. Um, Let me just see. Well, I I do need to pee really bad. Okay. 
Yeah, go ahead and go pee and see what's going on. And let's just uh and let's just see what's going on here. Fifty two, we got some time to go. We don't know because we stopped recording. Well, Gary, uh how's your day going? All righty, that sounds good. Um, I think that um, while the, well, the the mic was turned off, I think we talked about the painting that someone sent for the coloring contest, which we're going on the second year, I think, of having not picked a winner. Or did we pick a winner for the coloring contest? No, we never picked a fucking winner last year. God, we're so stupid, and we're already on the second year. It could be the second annual, but we haven't even done the first annual winner yet. No, so we really... Yeah, I mean, it's honestly embarrassing at this point for us to keep talking about it. But that's clearly from for that because they put their age, which I appreciate. Yeah, I love how, knowing how old people are. That's one of my big things. That was a quick pee. Hi, Gary. Um, no, but you know what I, what I was saying before I started to pee was that I'm like, I'm at the point in my... Sorry. You're good. Was it too loud? It got super loud for some reason. Interesting. Hi, Gary. Hi. Oh, he's so fucking cute. He he literally his little eyes look like this happy. Yes. Um so I'm at the point now with like all of my friends and everything that like if we're not friends that can chill and respect each other's space and stuff like that, I don't want to be friends with you. Mm-hmm. Can't do it. Makes sense. I just I'm out. I want someone chill. I don't like feeling like I have to entertain anyone. That's one of my worst fears in the entire world. Yeah, yeah. he just pushed it off. Gary! He was trying to get it over to play with it. <clears throat> and straight up just pushed it off the table. Wow. What a little wiener. Yep. Yeah. I'm just a cool little guy. I'm a cool guy that likes sucking other... Oh. What? Gary, the, <clears throat> we're the coolest people in the world, dude. You don't have to worry about shit. And I don't mean cool like we're cool, like hip people. You should follow our style. I just more mean <laughs> non judgmental. You shouldn't follow my style because it's like I'm wearing a king's crown today. Um, I, I mean, whoa. That was a nice few spin moves. That's how I am before I go to bed. I, I mean, I might as well be fucking spinning around just like a little dog. Because I'm moving stuff. I'm fucking pushing people off, dogs, everything. Like, get the fuck off me while I get comfortable. Right, right. I want to be just really feeling the energy before I lay down. That's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Watching Bo sit down on that sad, horrible blanket the, in the middle. The blanket that should be in the den, but Simba moved it because he was being rascally. Yep, and now Bo is just lay. Bo loves to lay on blankets like that. I, All do, these dogs love blankets. Do you know why I wanted to specifically bring them here? Is literally because Spo is going to die soon. It's coming. I know it's coming. In the next couple years, I, I don't think he's going to make it past a couple more years. Well, I'm 105. What do you expect? And I ain't mad at him, but I just wanted him to come out here and have a good old little time, get to fart around a little bit, you know, and... uh Kevin. So that's what he's doing. He's just laying on a little blankie in the middle. It, it's sad because I tried to tell him. I'm like, I can't think about my dogs dying because it's too much. But then I was like, I actually was kind of glad that I got to feel my initial, like when I was really worried that something was wrong with him when they were like, oh, he might be dying. Um, because I was like, oh, man, oh, look at him. He's just like a little seal. He literally he is a little like seal. A little baby seal. He's a baby, baby seal. What about me, guys? How do I look? Gary, you look like a tiny, he looks like a Bernese mountain dog, like really small. Yep, that's me, a Bernese mountain dog. Or like an Australian shepherd compacted. If they, you know that scene in, um when they're in all the slush and all that stuff, and I can't remember, I think it's Star Wars. That's fucking hilarious. It is Star Slush. Wars. Yeah, they're in that room. Uh, it's per- Leia and Han Solo, I think, are in that room, and the room's, like, getting ready to crush and compact them, and then they're going to be stuck. But they find a way out. That's what Gary looks like. Like, an Australian shepherd got a little smushed, <laughs> a 
and push down, <laughs> you know, and it was like about to keep like compact him into a little cube, mm-hmm. but it stopped right before he was about to die. I can't imagine anything more terrifying than being in that room. Oh, me neither. Hate claustrophobia. I mean, it would just it would <laughs> hate just people it. who have it. Hate. <laughs> you would just get crushed to death, dude. No. I mean, I guess it would be quick. You just ble- it. I think you would suffocate. If it was going slow enough and it's just pressing on you and you're. Oh, yeah. But I mean, you really only got a few seconds because you're about to bust. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a few seconds of suffocation is longer than I ever would feel. <laughs> oh, God. I know my brother used to put a pillow on my head and sit on it to, I guess, try to kill me. I'm not sure. Yeah. It's like, why were you doing that? <laughs> Because you're kids and you torture your siblings. Oh, God. We played the pass out game fucking left and right, bro. <laughs> this <laughs> I'll never forget that day watching Laguna Beach, chilling at Jordan Hole's place, playing the pass out game. I slipped and slammed my fucking head into her thick ass little mini TV that was colored and cute and fell on the ground harder than I ever fell in my life. <laughs> And God damn it, I love Laguna Beach. Was that the unintentional unintentional pass out game? The yeah, you hold it. I am. So, I, I I know was, this is fucked up, but I thought about doing it the other day I, just to try. I was. I want kind of want to write a bit about it because people will oftentimes complain about kids being on their phone all the time and stuff. And it's like when we were in grade school, we would literally <laughs> play the pass out game every single day for probably the whole entire sixth grade. Or we would try to contact ghosts on the Ouija board. It's like, if I would have had a phone, maybe, I, maybe I'd be okay. Dude, that's funny as fuck. I mean, we literally played the pass out game every day for a year. Oh, why? I, I, I Let you, a kid be on their fucking phone, dude. They're safer. Bro, cut, <laughs> cut to 2004 and this is all you'll see me doing. <laughs> And the only for, re- a year, for at least a year. The only reason I stopped is because I farted once while I was passed <laughs> out and I was mortified. So I was like, that's my end of my days. I mean, I stopped because I found keyboard cleaner. I'll push on the heart, but I'm not. What We didn't do this. We pushed on hearts. Oh, you pushed on hearts? We'd do 10 deep breaths, hold our breath, and then somebody would put all their weight on our chest. Oh my, that is fucked up. Yeah. That's more fucked up than what I was doing. Yeah. That's like. What happened to Damar Hamlin during that Bills game? Like, that can, like, f- totally fuck up. When he got hit, Yeah, it was in the middle of that heartbeat, the perfect fucking millisecond. And just that impact along with his heart, that's what stopped it. Like, that could probably cause cardiac arrest if you're doing well, it. Well, to say that I'm lucky to be alive is an understatement. Oh, God, yeah, dude. All of us. The pass-out game ain't no fucking joke, Me, dude. Rhonda, and Kathy. Yeah. And like, what... Did, were we getting high or something? What do you think? Well, why we kept doing it? It was like fun to pass out. Oh, God. It was amazing. I would always wake up <laughs> laughing. Just having a good old Not time. Not me. I'd wake up like this. <laughs> I know. I I mean, I would probably Where wake up a I? bit disoriented. I'm like, oh, God. Can somebody pop me a Werther's <laughs> original? <laughs> <laughs> or a cream saver? <laughs> Come on. Just pop me a cream saver in my mouth. Oh, God. I was eating so many cream savers in the 2000s. Dude, what did I do when I was passed out? Did I have an epiphany? How do you know you farted? You woke they up and farted? Me. or They're they like, oh, you farted when you passed out. And I was like, <laughs> so what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm never playing the pass out game again. You. Oh, that's so sad. Thinking about you being like. <gasps> <laughs> and we stood up. Did you lay down to do it? No, no, no. So we would. <laughs> be against the wall like this. And we just. We fall down. We just fall down. I almost shit my pants. Oh my god, dude! I mean, I can't even. T- I there is so much footage. If there is a god, I honestly. Do you know why I want there to be a god? Not so I get into heaven. Not for anything cool. Because I want instant playback footage of all the cool shit that I've done in my life. And he's <laughs> supposed to have like a record of that. There's supposed to be like all. You know, I want to see. I want to be like. Hey, can you compile every clip of the pass out game and just watch an hour of me going? (laughs) 
<laughs> oh my god if i had a video of that i'd never stop laughing i'd never stop watching it i would constantly be watching it chris ward posted a video of him chris ward is a friend of ours a comedian whatever not important but in his 40s <laughs> big punk like musician guy and he had a chain wallet and like he posted that video of him like with a chain wallet that one time doing some weird tr- i can't remember what he did he's just doing a cool trick yeah it was something fucking stupid like that but it's like i want footage of me doing shit like that you know just straight i think if i had three wishes one of my wishes would be to have foot have access to any time of my life that i can think of for sure but like it a would videotape al- yeah or 4k but that could also be like kind of a little too much because then yeah dude if i go back and look at some shit that i did way back when i'd probably be like oh i'd be like hey is there a way we could delete this maybe <laughs> That's what I would be embarrassed about. I'd be like, see how much of a fucking idiot I am sometimes when I'm like, man, I was really cool in that. And then I rewatch it and be like, why the fuck did I say that? (laughs) Yeah, it could get you in trouble. could get you canceled, maybe. Oh, God. I mean, and just arguments, losing arguments. No, I can't. I can't have access to all that. If it really comes down to it, you give me the power for it. I mean, if only I can see it, that's fine. But if other people can see the instant replay footage of everything that's ever been, I don't want that. That's the catch. You can, you're not allowed to watch it alone and see if it's okay. It's simulcast. It's simulcast across the whole world at, at one time. Oh my god! On everybody's TV. Hey, wait a second, man. I think there was a movie that was made like this. Really, <laughs> Truman Show. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, you know, everyone was lying except him. He was being authentic, but everyone was watching him, and he had no idea. The whole world. whole world watched him. That movie's fucking nuts, dude. That shit's a trip. Why did they go through all that just to do that? Because Ed Harris, dude. Ed Harris was, like, really cool in that movie. He's, like, a brilliant director. Had a cool black shirt on. Ooh, ooh. Looking cool. Little glasses. Maybe a little cabaret hat <laughs> cabaret hat i don't know what i'm trying to say one of those weird french hats that you Whoops. see like douchebags wear when they're really small. a beret yeah beret there it is not a big fan of berets sorry everyone my sis loves berets god why do people like them because they're cool if you look put it on it's like god there's a french person <laughs> and you could just be from high ridge missouri yeah for sure that's exactly what i think when i see someone <laughs> in a beret i go oh my god we oui. <laughs> i bet that person's french why don't i head over there and say bonjourno <laughs> Bonjourno. Why don't I head on over there and say bonjourno? Why don't I head over there and say, uh, what's the name of that pizza that kind of sounds like bonjourno? Uh, DiGiorno. DiGiorno. Hey, oh. <laughs> hey how you doing? DiGiorno. <laughs> All right, DiGiorno. See you later. <laughs> DiGiorno. <laughs> Just uh, uh, then DiGiorno. The arm like this. <laughs> like Forrest Gump. <laughs> DiGiorno. DiGiorno. <laughs> We're like, du, du jour, yes. <laughs> yeah, we're wrapping it up right now. Yeah, honeys. This was a long one. Um, oh, because of the... It's just uh, long. It feels like it's long. Well, I mean, hey, that's how it is sometimes. Sometimes Ugly you- looking bitch. Whoa. Yeah, take that. <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah. Hell yeah, Whoa. dudes. We love y'all, and uh, yeah, I think that about wraps up this episode. Don't have much else to say other than... Okay, we were trying to get a couple breeds from Gary, and we were not able to get the footage. That's what happens when you exploit young animals for your own benefit. Everybody have a great night. Thank you so much. We love you. God bless America. (laughs) And And DiGiorno. Cut. Oh. Thank you. Oh, Gary heard that. God. That bug. We don't like it. Kiss her ass. Yeah, kiss her ass. It's such a funny saying.